What's up guys, it's Trevor and Tate. We're here with Chris, our Cobra fitter. You're so tall up there. Yeah, I am pretty tall up here. <laughs> we have an awesome video today. We're getting set for full, fit for full bags of Cobras. I'm excited, we gotta go through all these irons, we gotta go through all the driver heads, we got all kinds of shaft op options. We got a lot to talk about, Yeah, a lot to break down. Yeah, you... Cobra's considered... Um, what one are of they the, considered? They're considered one of the top brands now. Yeah. Pro profit, or what do they say, product share? What's the, what's the word there? Yeah, we're, we're definitely breaking into market a bit more. Um, yeah. We're getting to be more top five um, mm -hmm. in the, the market sharing half of things. Um, and that's just kind of diversifying our brand a bit um, as far as offering things other companies don't. Um, trying to incorporate more technology into things a lot of people don't know about, such as our 3D printed putters. Um, oh, yeah. Those things are sweet. Wedges, um, you know, as far as just kind of maximizing distance as well um, we're, we're known to be one of the the best distance drivers in in the industry currently yeah so. and forgiving so it's huge i mean cobra has never slept on with driver everybody knows their drivers are great but now we're going to dig into the irons i think the irons are yeah we also no forgot joke. to tell everybody that uh we're officially a cobra dealer now oh yeah so that's that we are carrying cobra products in now. the showroom as well yeah. so let's dive into it let's start with the irons and uh, get fitted Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come to our showroom today, get fitted for all of our cool products, check out our awesome barbecue channel. If you're new, subscribe, do all the things. All right, let's talk irons because I think the irons are gonna surprise us a little bit. Yeah. So let's get them all out and kind of break down the irons and then start hitting them and see what's gonna work for us the best as amateur players. Okay, Chris, you can kind of get in here close, but we essentially have six heads. That Full Cobra repertoire. Offers. Full repertoire. Yeah, here. we're gonna try them all. So what we're gonna do is decide, and, and hopefully at you at home, if you're a 10 handicap, you know, maybe high single digits to a 20-ish handicap, I'd consider that a mid-ish handicap. Yeah. You know, hopefully we can give you a good idea what's gonna work best for you, because I think one of the biggest, one of my biggest complaints with all major golf brands is they can create a lot of product confusion with too many offerings. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think the point of this video is to help simplify and, 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 and help declutter the irons a little bit. Help a handicapper figure out where yeah. they fall in the lineup. So we have the Aerojet, which is gonna be your most game improvement iron. Now, there's not a blanket statement. I think it's kind of hard to put a blanket statement on everybody, uh, but I would say this would be plus 20 handicap-ish, maybe a little higher. Yeah. So, but, but my problem with game improvement irons is they're very clicky and don't give you any feedback. So I'm curious to see how this feels because I haven't hit it before. And then we go into the Forged X. Now, if you're familiar with like the P790s or like the PXG clubs, this is essentially a hollowed out club with your, sort of your proprietary foam filled technology that's in there. Yep. And so this will, my guess would be this would be one of the softer irons to hit in the bunch. Yeah. And then we basically have the Forged Tech, which is the same thing, but not as strong lofted, right? Yep, not as strong lofted and a little less offset in the hosel as well. Okay. So that means this um, so, way here. Yes. So again, um, if we have a the right miss, more pure ball striking, correct. This um, would be a better option. Would be a better option. So if you maybe slice and you don't hit the ball very far, the X would be a better option. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then these three guys, this is where we get more into what you said. We can create a lot of combo sets from low irons to high iron, irons, yeah. essentially. Yeah, no, we can definitely blend a lot more um, with these sets. So we, and you say, because the top line looks the same. Yep, top line looks very similar to each one of them. Um, and again, the, the theory is the higher the iron we typically have, right, the more forgiveness that we want. Yeah. Um, and of course, if we're wanting forgiveness throughout the whole entire bag, the tour irons are gonna be a phenomenal choice for us. Um, and we just have yeah. a little bit more of a blended player set that we can mix and match and kind of figure out what we need in our bag more so than we've had before in the past. And so the King Tour is essentially a full forge club, but with, what do you call this little inset here? Um, again, it's going to be more of like a, our, like a, a foam style insert. Yeah, um, but not the whole club, there. just a little thing. insert. Yep, so it's like a little cavity back insert that we put in there. So the full head is forged. It's going to give us that soft feel. Yeah, so maybe um, four, five, and six iron maybe. Yep. Four and five iron. And then we basically have a fully forged cavity back. So this, there's not really a lot of technology in here outside of the cavity back, creating a better, higher center of gravity towards the 
yep. bottom of the face yep. for yeah, a little yeah. more forgiveness. Yeah, a little more forgiveness. Um, so somebody that strikes it pure, but maybe not on the sweet spot, and maybe just right. needs a little softer feel for those misses. Right, and something too in the, the higher irons as well, like your five and six, where you need a little more forgiveness on a miss hit, so mm -hmm. you can still carry a bunker or carry some water hazards or anything else that may be you know, in our flight path that mm -hmm. we're, okay. we're looking to not get in trouble. And then basically a fully forged, just no technology to it, just a simple forged. So your tour guys, Ricky Fowler, that's what, that's what? Um, not quite actually. So again, we're seeing a lot of tour guys do blended sets? Do a little bit more. So Ricky actually currently is in our tour iron fullback. Oh, awesome. Um, really? So all the way through, he's playing his tours. Um, I think he's got some PTSD from his Ricky Fowler irons. We made them from those copper the ones. Yeah. yeah. They're gorgeous iron. They're really hard to hit. Um, I mean, he even moved away from those. Those are like the um, thinnest clubs I think I've ever seen. Yeah. They were a pure butter knife, and it definitely was one where we didn't have a, a smooth transition to any other of our lines from that one. So it was kind of a singled out thing, um, which is why we wanted to go more this route. Uh, and again, you know, Ricky's playing a full blended on this. Um, I think Gary Woodland is just in our is CB MBs, um, mm -hmm. which he signed with a full bag for us. And Justin Rose, if I'm correct, um, is playing a full blend of all three heads in his bag. These guys. And, um, he's currently not even under our contract, so yeah, so he's, he's freeness of he's choice. He's, choice. That's awesome. Yeah. So and he's he's known for doing that too. That he's speaks a play lot. What plays best for him? So. Yeah. All right, you want to start, Tate? Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead. You're hitting the Aerojet right now? Yeah. So what do you like about it? And honestly, for a cavity back, it feels very Doesn't soft. Doesn't feel clicky? No. And why is that? Uh, we're looking at our power bridge technology, right? So I keep getting close to you, but it's just for my it mic, Chris. So. It's going to um, help support the face a bit more. So again, we're not going to get as much give and flex on there. It's going to help create uh, better ball speeds out of it. But we also wrap the weight in a polyurethane. Right? So now mm. we're going to get a softer feel and not have as harsh of a clicking noise in yeah, there. Yeah, I hate that clickiness. Do with like any other cavity back or game improvement stock club that we see. Yeah. Right? So. so even though it feels good, you're, that's not your club though. I don't think so. No. Let's, let's really move good. to the next one cool. for you. Um, so what are we hitting now, Tate? Yeah, tell me a little bit about this. Um, so Force Tech X, um, so again, it's one of those, we're going to have a, a hollow body um, construction, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we're backing this with our, our foam inserts, um, power shell technology, give that face a little bit more pop to it. A uh, little more offset, a little bit stronger lofted, um, again, to give us that extra distance we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and again, give us more of that player's forge style feel that we're hoping for. So it's well. blending the two. Yep, yeah, blending the two together. I love it. Probably kind of bats a thousand. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. How does it feel like softness wise compared to like a, a P790 or a PXG? So that it's, uses that it, similar yeah. technology. It, it feels I like can that. Feel it. Yeah. Because it on impact you hear it and it sounds really good, but it it feels like it's completely flushed. And it like looks like more one, like a player's club. Yeah. That first one I missed probably 15, 20 yards right yeah. and came over the top hard, yeah. but it felt like I pured it. So even though I know it was a miss, it felt like sweet spot. Nice. All right. Which is, I mean, that's probably what most people want. So. Yep. That Nothing wrong with that. No, that one's going a mile. Oh, that thing's 200 carry. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want 200 yard seven iron? I'm definitely seeing the distance out of the X and the feel. Yeah. So it's, if, if you're not striking it right on the sweet spot every time, but you want it to feel good and you need to make up some of that yardage you may have lost from an injury or age or whatever it might be, or a beginner that's actually got a good swing on you, yeah. this is definitely a good option. I go to the, just go right to the tour now. Now I thinned it. There you go again. So for YouTube, that's a great example. So the first one's fat, second one is thin, Both almost the same yardage yeah. and online. So now we're, we're right below blades. Yep, so we're in the cavity back irons now. Um, so again, good forgiveness, um, still behind it if you're a decent ball striker. Um, that cavity back is gonna kinda offer the weighting around the head a bit more to give you a bit more forgiveness than necessarily pure muscle back is going yeah. to. Okay, so. so in an ideal world, I'm starting to hit my upslope with this club. But in all reality, this is where I start getting nervous that this might be above my pay grade. We'll, have, we'll see. Well, this is where you could combo set. Low irons, you can yeah. do that. Yep. You're going to try the full blade? Full blade. Yeah. Which one feels better to you? 
Um, probably because I'm not dead on the sweet spot, that, the last one. So this is the Aerojet head? Yes, Aerojet on that one. Feels good, actually. This is the best feeling game improvement club I've ever hit. Ever. No. Ever. Yeah. Same, same yeah. for me. It's not my club, but <laughs> the best I've hit in that lineup. All right. All right. So we got the Forge Tech head on that one. So again, a little bit different than the X. All it is going to be a little bit, uh, not a strong lock fit. So mm -hmm. more like a pure seven iron. Um, not as much pop set. And this is your softest club probably. Yes. Oh yeah, it's soft all right. Oh yeah. I can tell. Feels good. I mean, it definitely feels good. All these soft clubs, all these foam filled clubs feel good though. Right. So we're going to switch into the tour head. Tour head. Okay. So getting, one inch up or one inch long? Yep. Yeah. It just doesn't. I'll caught that thin. But I can feel it. I like that. I, I mean, I knew right away. Yeah. And it still was a good miss. Okay, so now I'm hitting the cavity back, yes. and I'll, I'll be honest, this is the one I want to win out. So what is it? The cavity back. The, the Tour CB? Yep. I caught that a little thin, but it felt... Still yeah. Oh, that's it. That feels so good. That Dude, felt that so no, good. That club is no joke, man. That feels good. That is your best carry, 176. Yeah. All right, we're moving into driver. So Sorry. When we're looking at the max head in general, right? Uh -huh. We can see more weight towards the heel side of the club, um, which is going to kind of help correct that miss right. Yeah. Right. So hopefully that'll straighten us out, get us more distance out of the club in general. Okay. Um, and we're going to have max forgiveness behind this head as well. I love it. Um, so I've tested the Cobra, just the stock Cobra yeah. off the shelf, and I loved it. Fantastic. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with it yeah, dialed we'll in. Yeah, see if we can dial it in for you and figure out which head is going to benefit you the best, whether it's our stock Aerojet, whether it's the Max or our LS head. Yeah. Um, and again, when we start looking at some numbers, that's what's going to kind of tell me which head um, we need exactly to move where towards. we should go. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Let's do it. That's when I cream it. That's exactly, yeah, that's my flight. That's what I play, that's what I can, can count on. Okay, so what I ended up in is the, the Cobra Aerojet LS, LS. Mm -hmm. with the Ventus Blue, but the 6S, not the 6X. Oh. So just the regular stiff instead of the extra stiff. I really tried to get into that one, just for fun. Well, you didn't try, you succeeded. Oh, no. Tell us what kind of combination you put together today. Uh, cavity back and the low spin driver. Both are surprising. They both seem above my pay grade, but I hit them the best. Yeah. So you're also in the... Yeah, I got cavity back as well. Um, I was in the low spin driver with the Fujikura. How do you say that? Fujikura. Fujikura. Uh, Ventus Blue. Ventus Blue stiff, just, regular yeah, stiff. stiff. Yeah. Yep. LS. And the biggest thing, yeah, the LS, the biggest thing for me is I knew the driver was going to be fit and I was going to love it. I wasn't so sure on Cobra the irons because I hadn't done a ton of research on them, yep. but there wasn't a single iron in that lineup that felt bad or poor. Iron surprised me. Yeah. They're strong, strong yeah. irons. Yeah, so plan. I guess we'll have to wait and see if any of it ends up in the bag though. Yeah. What's in the bag? <laughs> Get our is bag coming and up. see how good a job Chris did fitting us. Yeah. Pressure's on Chris. It's on. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come get fitted yourself. Yeah. Sorry, we're pressed for time with the fitting. We don't have a giveaway no today. No giveaway today. But it's coming on the next one. All right, see you guys.